Hey guys, welcome to a new Let's Play. Yes, Let's Play. That means we're doing Let's Play Jack and Daxter Collection. Well, first off, well, what my hold on before we start off, I was originally just gonna do Jack Two, and then eventually, sometime later down, do Jack Three. But I know, I know, it's been a few years since I did Jack and Daxter on my channel. But also, you know, it, I mean, it's been a lot shorter than Sly than the Sly Village series has been. Since I did slide one and slide two, especially slide two, uh, but like you know, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing Jack and Daxter. I want to do Jack. I love the first Jack and Daxter game so much that you know, let's just redo it. Especially because I I've been wanting to, to replay Jack two for about a year now to let's play it and everything. And then I just love the first game so much more. Like I still love Jack two and three, but in Jack three I've been wanting to do it for years. But Jack two, I've been I was thinking of just doing so with Jack two. But you know, let's start with Jack one, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Plus, it's better quality anyway, with now having, you know, full on HD and everything. Because, you know, kind of like the last. And also, I have a pretty good microphone. Just that the last, uh. <laughs> just that the last kind of, you know, time I did Jack and Daxter was really, like, you know, the quality was kind of inconsistent a little bit <laughs> with the. with my what up, my recording setup and everything. Because I wasn't. There was, somehow there was some weird problem where it wasn't always recording full colors. The cord I originally had, but now we do, so it's awesome. And there's Jack, or oh, there's I'm not the Doctor. <laughs> the, the, I mean, Daxter, not Jack. <laughs> there's Jack now, but I mean, there's Jack, but it's da but I meant to say Daxter. <laughs> oh, what a gift stuff! But oh my God, I love this. This game's gonna look beautiful though, because I remember this game looks. This game looks beautiful. Oh my God. But right, yeah, look at that, man. This is actually the first time. This is like, yeah, look at this. There's no save data. We're like to save Jack. Yes, I do. But anyway, I think I'm going to be gone. This is a pretty long cutscene. So, I'll, I'll be I'll be gone and I'll be back in a short, in a little while. So, be right back, shall we? Bye-bye. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego. One of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. 
The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? Jack, I think we're in trouble! Do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right. And then. And Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. <laughs> Get in there, before I turn you both into ferns! Yeah, welcome back to Jack and Daxter. Oh my god, this game looks beautiful! You can't come back through the warp gate until you find all four power cells on this island. God, this game looks beautiful. Oh my god. I know there won't be that much talking because there'll be a lot of tutorial and stuff like that in this episode, but you know, you know, you know, it's just me. Oh boy. Let's see how much. Yep, this is tutorial. These floating egg shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. I mean, we don't really need it, but you know, it's awesome. God, this, this game looks so bright. I didn't really like set that brightness on on my settings, so <laughs> if anything's too bright, it might, I might need to turn that down. I don't know. Well, I just still love, I still love this game so much though. This is a power cell. This is a power cell. The most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. You know, I'm not gonna do 20, I'm gonna do all 101. Saving data for PlayStation 3. Nice. God, this did, like I said, this is my fit. Thank, thank you, I know that. Ooh, almost never made it there. But yeah, this is my favorite. Hold on. 
But yeah, I was gonna say this is much my favorite Naruto game of all time. It's it's just great. I know there's people that love Uncharted or The Last of Us. Nope, this game. This game's the best. Like, I don't care who you talk to. This game's the best. Is best Naruto's best game. And this and this on. Uh, I know there's people that say Jack 2 is also the best Mario game. Nope, Jack 1's the best. <laughs> Pokemon Legacy is always the best. Uh, Jack 2 difficulty is bullshit, so that's why you know I don't like Jack 2 as much. But Jack 2 is still a 2 is a great game. But yeah, just, I mean, this game looked beautiful for the first time a lot. It, it, sure, it surely does. Yep, it sure does. I know there won't be like said, there won't be that much talking in this episode because the Bella tutorial. We also had that beginning cutscene. After we beat the tutorial, there'll be a lot more talking. <laughs> Don't worry. Your body, yeah. And there's a blue eco vet over there. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Man, but I love how so Oh my God! Look at look at that away over there. What button is? What but wait? What but? Oh, it's triangle. Tell me what button is. Look look at all this. Look, we can see the view from here. Like, look, look. We can't really zoom in, but you know, like, just look what this game can be can do. It's amazing. You can see that's just you know the like the west of the game. Also, also, Misty Islands over there, like without fog is. But yeah, basically, we're yeah. You can basically just see different parts of the game. It's that's how amazing that groundbreaking this game is, especially for its time. Cause it came in like two thousand one, I believe. So like. This game's tw about 20 old. I think this game's a 20 year old game actually this year. Open Sesame! <laughs> nice. But yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy amount how beautiful this game looks. The camera's not bad though. That's a good thing. Increase your health. health. <laughs> yeah, you can see Misty Island now. There's Misty Island over there. I wait, is that Misty Island? No, wait. That, actually, no way, that's not Misty Island. <laughs> uh, I thought it was. <laughs> this is a bunch of walks. No. Uh, I think. Uh, it's somewhere. We can sit somewhere. I think we can't sit. Like, look, look, this is waterfall. Look, look at this waterfall and the gut. I guess they call guys a rock, so there's a bunch of geysers, of course. Where's Mist can we ooh, where's Misty Island at? I think it might be beyond Yeah, it might be like over there, I think. Or no, I don't it's hard, I can't see it from here, but uh, so can, we, can we turn around and sit somewhere? Uh, ooh, can we sit from here? There it is! There it over there, yeah, there it is. See where the fog is. White right between there. I know it's not that good view, but you know. Better than nothing. <laughs> God by like just the amount of detail this game has. I mean I mean, it makes sense why the people who created not The Last of Us 2 and stuff this could be able to create this game. Because, like, they're a big, gorgeous game. You know, like, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of their later games at the Jack series that much, but... Man, Crash Bandicoot and Jack and Daxter were just phenomenal game series. I mean, Uncharted is as well, but... Man, just not as good as those two Crash or Jack and Daxter, though. <laughs> Why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. 
Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! <laughs> That's funny. But look like this. Like I said, this is the Easter egg with the little piranha plant from Crash Bandicoot that you have in this game. Like I said, there's always like you know Easter eggs in a bunch of games and stuff like that. But yeah, let's talk to Kira. Let's do it. Kira. Hey baby! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one. I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I can look there, I don't know. In the future episode. But yeah, welcome to Sound of a Village, guys. God, this looks good. This looks good. But yeah, I'm. God, I love this game so much. I can't wait to see what Jack 2 is like. Because Jack 2 has been wanting to play for a while on my channel. <laughs> but anyway, he's also a stout fly. Yes, we, yes, I know. I know there's. And like I said, Jack, Jack like won just a really short game. Yes, yes, you don't have to be sarcasm, sarcasm like that, Daxter. Uh, we, this is the way to the beach. We don't need to go there yet. But like I said, there's a scout fly wide over there. There's Miss Island. Wait, wait, no, that's guys a rock. You can see the geyser, I think. Yeah, that's guys a rock over there. Uh, what was Miss? No, Miss Island's like I think Miss. Yeah, Miss Island's over there. Wipe. You can't you can't really see it. It's kind of the rock, the big giant rock over there is in the way. But yeah, the guys a rock is over there. Uh, with that fog behind that behind you know the home, behind you know the home our home and stuff like that is you know the Miss the Misty Island. I just got a hard home because, you know, we basically don't much live there. Or same as this home, really. <laughs> Not really our home. Uh, we also can talk to this guy in here. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. <laughs> As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island, are we? No, we're not. Not quite yet. <laughs> At least <laughs> we'll go that in the future episode, of course. Scuff oh man! But that guy amuses me though. <laughs> <That> amused me. <laughs> oh man, that, 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 I love the different villagers in this game. Like they're pretty great. Uh, there's also the little um, what was it? The mayor. Don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. The, the, see those gears up there, boy. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. <gasps> Oh, you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. Yep. Basically, he gives us two different power cells, one for the one to get 90 orbs, and one, you know, just you know, fix the eco beam. 
Uh, we, no, we've already been in there. Uh, we need to talk to our, our uncle. Not our uncle, I will. Imagine if it was our uncle, I will. That'd be pretty great. But he's just our uncle. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. I'm not quite yet, obviously. Usually I'm going to save that, save that in a future episode. Trying to give all these guys 90 orbs. <laughs> There's a lot of orbs that you trade though in this game though. The bird lady. The bird lady. Oh my, what a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a spotted orange bellied rain freak. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. A mother flut flut! This poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor and I'll give you a power cell. I love the, I love the flut flut. The flut flut's great. The flat flat is the flat flat's pretty great though. Like, I have to I have to admit the flat flat's pretty great. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do the blue. I bet we can get this open if you power up with that zappy blue eco stuff. That's what I was gonna do, Daxter. But you ruined it. Bet you ruined it. You ruined what I was gonna say. Mm, gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. Oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those Henri cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get them back into the corral? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Um, Ash, it's already been almost like 20, like almost, like it's been over 20 minutes already. I'm probably just going to talk to all these people and get all the orbs and then the scout flies and then be done with the episode. I'm actually not doing do the cattle thing. I might wait that until another episode. I know some episodes might be shorter than others, but yeah. As far as cannons this way, obviously we can't do that yet because we, we don't have enough power cells. Like you can see, fire cannons way over here. But that's basically how. But we have we have to have enough to get to them, and that's just so we can travel to the next area in the game or next section. Like I said, we get there's more. Oh, there, wait, oh, am I going? Oh, I got turned around. <laughs> that's funny. I got turned around in circle there. <laughs> that's funny. Oh boy! Ooh, yeah! I love, I love. We can just do this roll, man. Look at that. Mm, some orbs over there. There's the you the yaks and stuff. I'm not gonna do that yet. Now jump up here. Get all these orbs and drown pound. Well, drown pound. Yeah, six scut flies. Next other ones over here. Check out that funky sculpture sitting on the rocks over there. 89. Last. We got it. We got this. Yes. Power cell time. All right. You found all the scout flies in this area. Who awakens the oracle? Wait. One of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. This but yeah, basically. Precursor oracle like the sage always goes all about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Basically, we need basically we need 120 orbs so he can give us the power cell. Yeah, that that thing wants 120 each. So we had to get like I think a lot. Not for the Oracle guy, because the guy wants 120 each, for, so for two of them, which is interesting though, compared to like 90 for one of them. The other guys, there's, there's have been junk over there, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do that in the next episode, of course. Uh, hold on, get all these orbs real quick, and then we're done with the episode. 
That last one? Yep. 50. Nice. Well, I think we collected actually four, four uh, for Forbidden Jungle orbs, but uh, actually, Forbidden Jungle. Yes, I know that. I think we did collect four for Forbidden Jungle, but uh, that means the next episode, we do Forbidden Jungle. Yes, we're going to end this episode off here. So, I've been Green Covers Gaming, and I'll see you guys next episode. Wah! I'm out. Bye-bye. <laughs>